everybody, Mike Robertson, Robertson Construction. On today's video, we're going to take an existing receptacle, an ivory, and we're going to change it out to one that's white and update the inside uh, to a nice white color. Uh, so what I'll do is go ahead and show you first off what you need to do for safety precautions before you attempt to change any electrical receptacle in the house, and then I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so here's my sub panel inside my shop. And you can see I've marked everything. There's a spare lights, floor plug for my table saw, shop lights, actually garage ceiling lights, my shop uh, receptacles, compressor, and uh, my welder. Um, anyway, I know that that area where I'm working on is right here. So what you want to do is we want to turn that off. So we'll go back and we'll check it. And I know, I do know that for sure, but I'll go ahead and show you anyway, because you want to double check it. If it's your house, it's one thing if you've marked it. If it's not your house and you don't know, best case scenario is by turning off the main. However, if you have electrical uh, going to computers, uh, some washers and dryers uh, do okay, but you might want to unplug those first before you disconnect. Uh, because you can burn out the computers if it kind of has a brown out or uh, if it's something just happens it's better just to disconnect those prior and even computers unless they're on surge protectors or if you have somebody in the house that's on any kind of medical uh, equipment uh, definitely don't be turning off the main on that one however this is the one I need <clears throat> so we'll go back and we'll test it this is an existing outlet it's an uh, almond which isn't very popular uh, People now are changing out to white. You can see the difference, it's uh, pretty, pretty strong. So what we wanna do is make sure this is not hot. And so what we're actually gonna use here is a circuit tester. And uh, mine's pretty old, but basically if you plug this in and these lights come on, it means there's power going to it. I've already turned it off, but I'll show you at the panel uh, how we do that. And obviously you want to check both. Don't just check one, because uh, a lot of homes, especially homes through the 70s and, and even 80s, uh, they would split these. So this would be hot, the bottom, and the top would be running off a switch for a light, since they didn't have a lot of center lights and, and, and on the ceilings and bedrooms. and. Uh, in living rooms. So you'd come in the room, flip a switch, this one would then come on, but this one was always hot. So if you go to the panel and turn off power, and you put it on the top, you go, oh, that's good, power's off, and then you start taking this apart, stick your fingers in there, you're gonna get a pretty good surprise you're not gonna be happy with. So, I know that this is uh, dead, I showed you that at the panel. We're gonna go ahead and remove the cover plate. Then we're going to go ahead and remove the outlet, or the receptacle, excuse me, or the receptacle by undoing the two screws. We'll pull this out. And I have tape on here. If there isn't, you know it's, you know it's, no, there's no, no electricity going to it. You could grab it. It's just common practice not to reach and grab the sides. That's where the contacts are. So you'll twist this here. You'll remove your tape, if there's tape. And now these connectors, or excuse me, the, the wires are actually on here on the screws. They're not pushed in. If they were pushed in, I would just cut them. If there is a lot of room, you can also just cut this here. Just clip them in the back. Sometimes that's actually a good thing to do because this may be really old. It might be a little corroded right in here. So you go ahead and just chop these. And we'll go ahead and actually do that. We'll cut the ends right at the back. Okay, and then we'll get rid of the old one. We'll just drop that down into a bucket. 
Now I have enough room here to put a new one on. But obviously I've got to clean up the ends again. So we'll go ahead and strip the ends. Okay, then we want to bend those ends back over and again you can use needle nose pliers, you can use anything, mine happen to have a hole in here for doing that, so we can just twist it. Okay. Now again, when you get the new receptacle, you're going to put it with the ground down. We have the hot, which is gold, and then we have the common, which is silver. Common and the ground are on the same side. But we're going to go ahead and install the ground first. And again, I, I explained this in the last video. You'll see how these are open and I've hooked them up and to the left. The screw goes that way. If I if I turn this over and screw it, sometimes it pops off. It just, by just screwing it down, it tends to want to lift this. So you want it going the way that you're going to screw it in, like that. So it's going to screw and it's going to pull the top that way. Okay, so if you understand what I'm saying, when you twist it here, it's turning this way and it's going to pull the top in. Okay. So now that the ground's in, we'll go ahead and do the common. Again, these are still branched. We're not going to break that branch, so I'm going to put it on here. This one's already down. You want to seat the one you're not using. Screw it all the way down inside. We'll go ahead and put the common on. Same thing. You're going to the way that it screws in. You're going to put the tip running right that way, just like that. We'll screw this back on. Okay, and then you will take the, your hot and do the same thing. Pop it on. Now, you want to use these screws. I would not even going to tell you about the things I will, I will, but I don't want you to use them. On the back, these outlets, let me get the old one. These receptacles have holes that you can push in either 14 or 12. They also have a little slot under. That little slot under the hole is actually for releasing it with a small screwdriver. Okay, but when you use these, they corrode sometimes. They don't seat in all the way. Sometimes you'll get a failure and it may be later on after you uh, have everything finished and then you gotta go try to find out which one it is in the run. So use the screws, use the screws, use the screws, okay? That's the best bet, and they'll hold the best and get the best connection. Okay, now that that's done, again, I'm going to put tape over the screws and the wires. I'll go under the top screw, and then down over to cover up the screws and the, uh, and the wires. And again, this is, you don't have to do this, it's just something I do. So there, now it's nice and clean. You're going to push these back in, try to get them in evenly, and you're going to line up the screws to put into the box. Now you can use a hand screwdriver or you can use a power screwdriver, just no, make sure you don't torque it completely and strip it out. These boxes are plastic on the remodeling boxes. So we'll go ahead and push it on and make sure it looks good, which it does. And then finish setting it. And then we'll get the cover plate, pop the cover plate on, and then screw that back in. Okay. And then you go through the entire house, that's how you do them. 
Go back to the panel, turn your power back on, come back in, check that you have your light on both. You should because you didn't break the branch of, uh, between the two to separate them. They're, they are one. And basically, that's how you go ahead and change out a receptacle, whether it's broken or whether you want to change the color. Okay, everyone, so that's actually how you take an old receptacle and swap it out. That was an ivory receptacle to a white new receptacle and cover plate. Uh, again, make sure you use your safety practices if you're not sure what to do or how to do it and this didn't help you, then go ahead and hire a licensed electrician to come out and do the work for you. Uh, if you have any questions, please make some comments. I'll try to respond. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, more soon to come. Please subscribe. Take care.